Zero Chill is less than a week away. It has been confirmed to be dropping December 8th. That is next Thursday from TJ on Good Morning Madden. Um, I'm looking forward to Wednesday. I'm look I'll just say that. I'm looking forward to Wednesday. I'll let social tweet it out, but Wednesday's gonna be a blast. Um to go over Zero Chill. Zero Chill is easily the most enjoyable and fun promo we get throughout the entire year. It is pretty much in an alone, like a standalone season where we get multiple promos inside of Zero Chill, multiple content drops throughout multiple weeks. Take a look back at Madden 22's Zero Chill structure. It had three base programs or promos, the first being and the main one being Zero Chill. It had four to five drops spanning a few weeks. It's a pretty typical promo, right? You have your champions, your heroes. It is your cookie cutter Madden Ultimate Team promo. Next up, you would have Stocking Stuffers, and that's probably going to be somewhat different this year. Stocking Stuffers last year kind of took the place of Team Builders, where there were two champions, but then there was one 92 overall player from each team, and I want to say it had a times two or times three chem. It was actually a very, very cool drop that led to many coin making opportunities throughout the month. And lastly, my favorite uh, sort of mini program inside of Zero Chill, it is Ghost of Madden. You have your Ghost of Madden future, present, and past. Your future being your lower overalls, 92, 93s, presence being 93s, 94s, and uh, was it past being 95 overalls. And there was an LTD for each being Micah Parsons, Devontae Adams, and Tim Tebow. Now, personally, I would like to see the Ghost of Madden future and present be the same overall as the past. Just I kind of like when current players, especially rookies and younger players, get high overall cards in Madden. But Overall, it is usually the best part, in my opinion, of the Zero Chill program. You can see some of the most fan favorite and popular cards uh, get upgrades. And then, of course, you have your rerolls and the main, right, probably the most fun aspect of Zero Chill, uh, the presence. Presence, to put it straightforward, uh, just pretty much you get a random present and it opens Christmas morning, giving you a player, a pack, some sort of item in Madden. Now, how you get these presents is a little bit complicated. So for Zero Chill, there is typically an alternate currency, usually has something to do right with snow. We just call it snow pretty much every single year, even though last year it was snowflakes. Now to get snow, um, it's pretty simple. Every single Zero Chill card, so Ghost, Zero Chill, Stock and stuff for players, they will all quick sell for snow. But the way you get them is pretty much there will be training rerolls and snow rerolls. So you simply use training to do the training rerolls for Zero Chill players, and thus you can quick sell them for snow and then use that snow for really the same rerolls as training, but mainly people use snow to roll presents. They're being small, medium, large, extra large, and rare extra large last year, uh, ranging really from like an 85 plus pack all the way up to 96 LTDs. Uh, just to give you a quick summary, like Derek Henry, Addison quarterback, he was the ultra rare extra large gift, one of the four last year. And finally, to wrap up last year, and I will say Madden this year has been almost a carbon copy of Madden 22, especially the Blitz promo. The Blitz promo usually is really unique to the year, and well, this year was a copy and paste from Madden 22, so Zero Chill is probably going to be under the same structure. You can kind of see, here is the outline. By the way, Team of the Week does stop during Zero Chill, although Legends will continue, but you can kind of see I've mapped out. Now, this was like the content schedule you would say last year. I'm going with a Thursday and a Monday content drop. Uh, but yeah, last year, it was, of course, Tuesday and Friday. But this year, Thursday seems to be their favorite day of the year. So four to five zero chill drops, and you got your stocking stuff and your Ghost of Madden. But Ghost of Maddens are confirmed. Presents are confirmed. Stocking stuffers are not. We'll probably get maybe something a little bit different, but probably along the same structure as stocking stuffers, where each team gets some type of card. But now going back to Madden 23, what can you do to prepare for zero chill? And I'm going to be honest. Last year, there was a lot, right? We were buying Campus Heroes, Legends, Team of the Week cards because um, we were expecting a lot of players to get upgrades, thus using those cards in the power-up sequence, and we were able to make a lot of coins. This year, uh, it's a lot more simple. And if you were unaware, uh, if you did not participate really in the Blitz promo last weekend, uh, it's going to be all involved within training. Now, the reason we are investing in training is pretty simple. Um, right now, there is, well, one, training has crashed since the removal of TVPs, as well as there's not an insane demand for training, although all Madden 3 did come out, rise training a little bit, 
training is going to have the most demand probably throughout the entire year during zero chill because there's so many uses like i said there is going to be individual training rerolls. you could use training to then convert to snow snow converts to presence so there's just an insane demand for training now last year uh the math of it and how training really progressed from blitz until zero chill uh, it dropped to around seven to eight per four blitz and then rebounded at around 11 to 12 per four zero chill so a pretty good bounce back now right now training is hovering around 5 to 5.5 and i know a lot of people and i'll actually flash up on the screen a training value chart because a lot of people think training is going to 9 to 10 per and i think that's just a little bit unrealistic just to give you some price points of last year right 10 per this year a 93 overall that would be 330,000 coins whereas last year during zero chill 93 overalls unfiltered we're going for like 145 to 150k so we'd be looking at more than double an expensive market for zero chill this year i think a more realistic number is probably max like 7.58 per with really just a a baseline of i think training at least gets to 6.5 per now i know that's a lot of numbers but going from five per training to 6.5 is a very significant jump after tax that is still a 20 percent increase that would be a 90 overall going from 50,000 coins to 65,000 coins so don't think just going from five per to 6.5 is a very small jump and you're not able to make coins no that is a significant jump you put in 10 million coins into training you're turning back 2 million coins in straight profit so yes if you are unaware training is going to be pretty much the only thing we are doing to prep for zero chill uh, right now it's a little bit hard and i'm recording this and you guys can see in the background uh me trying to buy training now this is friday night really where there's no supply from any packs and there still is a pretty high demand for all madden part three i do three i do think there's going to be multiple opportunities to buy training leading up until wednesday afternoon and thursday morning for zero chill uh, saturday the day you're watching this video there are legends hopefully we can buy again 88 overalls under 23k 89 overalls under 34k and buy those bulk overalls you can right now buy 84s and 85s for a very cheap training amount you can buy 85s pretty much under five per really at like 4.5 whenever you want but no one wants to sit there and buy 585 overalls we want to buy 88s 89s 90s and 91s and a little bit more of a bulk training buy the other day i think we probably are gonna be able to get training at five per again in these bulk overalls it's probably tuesday team of the week typically leads to a decent training drop usually the set pieces in the team of the week sets for that week are somewhere around training again brian burns this past weekend was the cheapest training on tuesday in pretty much higher overalls at 60 to 65k and then 85 overall team of the weeks were statistically the cheapest training this past week buyable at under 5k and pretty much at four per so and even the 88 overall guys were buyable at 20,000 coins so hopefully this saturday this tuesday we see more buy opportunities at five per i also think wednesday when they revealed the zero chill program we might see a little bit panic we kind of saw this this past week with all madden part three people knew there was a reroll coming and yet still training drop from around like i'd say 4.8 five per all the way down to four per on tuesday and wednesday afternoon when they showed the 14 all madden guys even though the community knew a reroll was coming and there was going to be added demand training still dropped a ton especially in higher overalls because people panic sold their high overall cards so that is uh the i'd say the uh summary of training again i will flash the training spreadsheet on the screen this is like what training would get to at each number point again if we get into like seven and eight per that is a very very expensive mark that i don't know if it could reach but i think a reasonable and realistic training number that it can get to is from five to six point five per for every single overall right now there are overalls that are actually going for above seven per being even 90 overalls and 92 overalls but there's still 91 overalls 88s 89s that are going for around five per again 6.5 is a 20 percent increase after tax and that is what we are shooting for the last little thing i want to talk about for zero trill prep is something very very small but you can kind of passively buy these cards over the next week and it is 76 to 77 overall uh, cards gold cards it can be any cards you buy that are 76 77s that is because when we typically get a new promo field pass there is a set objective a set requirement to complete you know three five or ten sets of the new program and while typically people are going to complete the lowest overall set 
in the new program, that being usually 78 to 79 overall players, thus requiring 76 to 77 golds. Now, in most feared and harvest guy harvest promos, uh, the 76 77s went from around 1k to 1.5k all the way up to 34k. So there's a little bit of opportunity, right? You don't got to buy 500 of these guys. We know snag 50 of them, look to sell them Thursday morning when they are in the most demand. I will say right now, there's not that many 76 77 cards posted. You actually see me buy 78 79s. That is because I am compass investing, but. 76 77s i think under 1.5k is a very very safe investment even if they aren't involved for whatever reason in the objectives in the sets they really won't go down in price so that is going to be all for the zero chill prep hopefully you guys understood uh, just kind of my um thinking of training i know training is like everyone's talking about buying training but i think people have really unrealistic expectations for where training gets to um I would say like, hey, if it goes up to eight, nine per good, but it's going to be a very, very expensive zero chill presence and players are going to be the most expensive we've ever seen during a December promo. Super excited for zero chill. Um, it's really hard. Zero chill typically uh, every single year EA has not let us down. So hopefully this year it is fun. I think that's what we're missing in Madden 23 Ultimate Team in the menus specifically is the fun aspect. Rerolls have been very mediocre and there's hasn't been a lot to do. So I'm looking forward to Zero Chill, the best promo of the year, every single year. That is all for this video. Comment if you have any questions, like if you have enjoyed, subscribe if you are new, and until next time, peace.